Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to look at this 1965-66 uh, Wayne parts book. So if you've seen my sales brochure video, uh, you've seen the one that has this kind of bus in it. It says Valley Farm School. So um, this is what it looks like. Here's the back. Got the Wayne logo. Uh, there are a few uh, buses in here, so we'll go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, got that standard Wayne warranty that's always on the front page of everything Wayne. There's the Wayne build plate for the time. And then over here it just talks about, you know, all parts for your Waynes and stuff like that. Oh, oh god. Apparently this just came loose. Okay, so first pictures we got, there's a Wayne there. It's just pointing out different parts and what they are. You can see it there. And it actually says Valley Farm School, which is pretty interesting. And you'll notice that it's actually got the specs of the animated bus that um, say, you know, school bus like that. Uh, it's very interesting that this was actually put on a real bus. Uh, I thought it was just in that sales brochure. Uh, let's see. Got to do this kind of carefully because the book just kind of came apart on me. Here's a high headroom Wayne uh, with the similar specs. Let's see what's on the next page. Uh, here's that same high headroom Wayne from the side. So that's pretty cool. And there it is from the back with those same specs. It looks like it would have changeable signs uh, that you could put in to say school bus or charter or whatever you would need them to say. Now this one's pretty interesting. That's the rear end of a Wayne RE with these kind of uh, reflect... Well, I don't know if they would have been reflective, but... It's like what you would see on the back of a fire truck. I know uh, Columbus has tried that out on one of their CEs. It's definitely an interesting concept. Uh, there's the floor of a Wayne, and it's pointing out obviously all the parts that it would come with. Uh, here's the inside of an unfinished Wayne RE, I believe. Well, maybe that's just a Wayne with no rear end, like no, um, you know, rear door. Uh, that might be what that is, because there wouldn't, there would obviously need to be an engine if that was an RE. There's the back Wayne uh, body, which it pretty much looks the same as the one that's on three. Let's see what's on the next page. Got the inside of a Wayne body frame. There it is again. You can see the structure. And then there's just another photo of the Wayne body structure of the time. And again, all these photos have numbers on them to point out what parts, you know, they are. So there's the inside of the back of the Wayne. There's the uh, roof cap itself. And then here's just some parts and accessories that looks to be like a door. Um, and just hose or gaskets, I'm assuming, for the glass. Just, again, more parts. Uh, there's the door parts for the entrance door. Now this card was was in here. I don't know what it's for, but um, I'm guessing it was something to do with parts for whoever had this for a school district. Again, more uh, illustrations of the door. That's the step well. So like the flooring and the rubber. Um, and there's some more parts. Let's see. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's anything else, uh, bus, like, model, actual buses, I think most of this is just, uh, like, there's some, uh, mirror brackets, uh, let's see what else is in here, as you can see, this literally just came apart on me, so I'm trying to be careful with it, uh, let's see, more parts, looks like some lights and a switch panel, there's the Wayne first aid kit, and a axe, and I believe that's another switch panel. I think those are, yeah, window frames, it looks to be. There's a seat. And then here's the driver's seat. There's the back of a transit-style passenger seat. And then here's... I believe that's heater for like under the seat and I think that's it here's now this was pretty cool this was like a little uh, acronym that Wayne had so I'll read it to you satisfaction of the customer 
our constant goal. Every part's order given prompt attention, ready to advise on best methods of shipments, vigilance in checking parts before packaging, ideas for improvement always welcome, cooperation that keeps customers loyal, and the best one, which is the last one, eager to please at all times. So that was a pretty cool acronym for service. I really like the way they did that. Uh, definitely catchy. Uh, over here, looks like we've got an order form for parts. So that's pretty cool. And then there's nothing on the last page. And then over here, we've got regular checkups and stuff to do uh, to the bus to keep it going. Um, and then there's the back. So yeah, literally as I was filming this, the, it, the cover came off of the uh, rest of the book. So, um, you know, it's definitely showing its age, but that's okay. Uh, it'll be kept uh, safe so it won't further fall apart. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah.